Welcome to Boob Juice. Where is my baby? Can you drink breast milk as an adult? I'm a horrible mother. Oh my God. I'm losing it, y'all. I'm losing it. Hi, I'm Lindsay. And I'm Jasmine. And this is Fast Forward, where we take on the ultimate challenge. Breastfeeding. <laughs> <laughs> And this is Fast Forward, where we take on the ultimate challenge. In this episode, we're gonna be breastfeeding for 24 hours. Are you breastfeeding? Yes. Are you? No. Oh. I think my mom fed me with formula. Honestly, breastfeeding is probably one of the only subjects in pregnancy and birth and everything that I really don't know much Same. about. We're going to be abiding by a breastfeeding schedule for 24 hours. What are your thoughts? <laughs> I did what I guess they call it on demand feeding, which is whenever you notice the cues, you just feed them then and there. I feel like some people think there's like a right and a wrong when it comes to breastfeeding or formula. As long as your kid is being fed, who cares? Whether it's formula, whether it's breast milk, it's no one's place to tell you how to do it or how not to do it. I love that. Thank you. Bye. Bye. This is a lot. I'm already tired. I'm stressed just thinking about it. Hi, I'm Julie Matheny. Hi, I'm Lauren Archer. How you feed your baby is as personal choice as yeah. any choice that you make with your body. Supported is best, yeah. right? So you'll hear breast is best, you'll hear fed is best, and then th th there are two extremes, yeah. and then there's a lot of fighting in the middle. So we learned so much about breastfeeding. Mm -hmm. I came in knowing nothing at all. Truly. Kind of scared of it, to be honest. Can everyone lactate? Theoretically, yes. So 2018, the first transgender woman was able to induce lactation through hormone therapies to breastfeed her baby for six weeks. Can you drink breast milk as an adult? Yes. Whoa. What does it taste like? Welcome to boob juice. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Cheska. Hey. You recently birthed a child. I did. And you're lactating. I still am. Wow. <laughs> Have you ever tried your own breast milk? I've tried my friend's breast milk. How was it? Before I was pregnant, I just, it just watery. Watery? Really? Watery. Yeah, it didn't really taste like anything. We're gonna be trying it. I have this. I pumped it last night for you. For you guys. Fresh off the boob. Fresh. <laughs> don't make me laugh, I'm gonna spit it out. I'm terrified. Why? I don't know. Wait, why is it really sweet? Really? Yes. Yeah. It is. Oh, it is sweet. I had boba last night. <gasps> now it can change in flavor based on what you eat. Just like breast milk mm. can be different colors. It can be right. blue, orange, green, yellow, white. Because of what you're eating. Because of what you're eating. It literally tastes like tea milk. Oh, oh but you milk wow. out of your boob. I'm impressed. We're gonna teach you how to actually breastfeed. <gasps> ah! Okay, so what does it feel like? Yeah. Like it feels like someone sucking on your nipple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, Got it. So on this breast model, unfortunately with this model, there's only one hole. You'll have an actual nipple will have four to twenty nipple pores. What? Where you will have spray to 20? four to uh -huh. twenty where you will spray milk out of multiple holes. So this is not an anatomically <laughs> correct nipple. Never. So when you have uh -huh. somebody bring you the baby, you're gonna actually get them tummy to tummy. Their oh. butt's gonna be on their arm. Hold them with your palm of your hand in their back, finger and thumb behind the ears. Now you don't have to just feed across your body. It, you can feed in football. Okay, so football. your baby can be back here. Oh, that looks comfortable. Oh, very okay. comfortable. You can feed your baby where they're upright. So this is called koala. The, I like to call it the <gasps> bar stool. Okay, so. So you automatically, yep, roll so that baby yeah. in. Now mm -hmm. switch your hands. So your right hand is gonna be on the baby with okay. your palm of your hand and baby's shoulders with your finger and thumb up by her ears. And then you switch arms. So you bring this one across and now you're holding your baby. What about breast pumps? Yeah, let's look at a breast and pump. And try it. So this is the flange, but I would actually put this here. There's two modes to a good quality breast pump. There's a stimulation mode that is to stimulate the nipple to get you to release milk. And there's an expression mode that actually relieves that or moves that milk. I've never done anything like this on camera. Okay, it's like a little boob massage. Okay, so you guys are gonna be doing mock schedules of how you would feed, possibly feed your baby. We have come up with two different options. 
So all right, I'm gonna give you mine. Okay. okay. So this is for a baby that would be about one week old, where we're still working on um, optimizing feeding at the breast. We're gonna consider that you have a lower milk supply and we're trying to boost that supply. So we're okay. gonna be breastfeeding the baby and then pumping. Not all the time, so you're on a modified triple feeding plan. And this is a plan mm. that could be for week one all the way through like three, four, five, six Jeez. months. And it's called Feeding on Demand. And it's basically oh, where the yeah. baby asks and you deliver. Do you have any words of wisdom for us as we endure on this breastfeeding journey? Take care of yourself in between feeds. Feed yourself. All okay, right. this, this might work in our favor. You'll be great. Bring us the babies. <laughs> These are actual newborn size. Your baby's cuter than my baby. We know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, it's six o'clock in the morning. Oh. oh, what do I have to do? 25 minutes left to breast, 30 minutes right? That's like being up for a whole hour breastfeeding. I'm not a morning person. <laughs> not at all. I... I am so not okay in the morning. <laughs> Don't talk to me before 9 a.m. I'm just like imagining this actually being a real baby and it like crying because it needs milk. I ate everything. You can't necessarily fall asleep. No. So I was up for an hour at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. It was a nightmare. <laughs> Y'all, I slept through my first alarm already. I was supposed to feed Peppa at 7 a.m. and it's 7.25. It's gonna be a lot of sitting today. When I first saw my schedule, I thought I had it maybe like better. And then I saw Lindsay's too, and I was like, this is just as bad. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. That's my schedule for today. It looks like a lot. It looks like you're not really doing much else that day. I don't know how you do other things while doing this. I would look at the schedule and I was like, okay, it's seven o'clock and I have to breastfeed until 7.30. And then I have like max 45 minutes. Right. And then I have to breastfeed again. You have to operate your schedule around those in-between periods, which don't last long. It's just like so stressful. The first thing I thought of this morning is like, this is the, the, the ultimate birth control video. My ki kitchen is insanely dirty and I don't have time to clean it. All right, now I got a bottle feed. Jeez, I should have gotten a pillow. Now I gotta do pumping for 10 minutes. 9 a.m. is when I, you know, get ready for the day. I needed to brush my teeth, I need to go to the bathroom, I need mm -hmm. to do, like, eat something. I was so hungry. But I had to try to do all those things while, like, holding this child. I have maybe an hour and a half dishes, um, taking out garbage, and, like, having to figure out how to do all this <laughs> around, like, a schedule. <laughs> How do parents do this alone? I have to wear these pads. Basically, if I don't wear this, then I'm leaking like milk everywhere. It's like a literal maxi pad for your boobs. People like me that breastfeed, we leak. And so we have to put these in our bras. Oh, is that funny? I'm literally providing food for your child. Well, you also left the child upside down on the couch, so. Aww. I've seen stats and things saying that breastfeeding is healthier. I still assume that formula is healthy because people are giving it to their kids. When you think of what our milk is from our bodies, it's a living substance mm -hmm. that has red mm -hmm. blood cells, immune properties, it has growth hormones, and it's constantly changing during the day. So your morning milk is meant to hydrate the baby for the day. Wow. Your night milk has hormones in it to help baby sleep. Breast milk is constantly changing. Formula is the same every right. single time. One of my favorite fun facts is like biofeedback, where when baby comes to your breast, they deposit germs, your body intakes it and creates exactly what baby needs, including antibodies. Wow. So like if a parent or anyone in the house is sick, I'm like, drink the milk. Oh because my Because you essentially become your own pharmacy, which is <laughs> amazing. <Wild. laughs> it is 11.45, which means I now have to do 20 minutes of breastfeeding and then 10 minutes of bottle feeding and then pump for 10 minutes. Well, this shirt's great. You can kind of do a little tucky moment. Why are you smiling like that? <laughs> Pumping time, baby. Oh my God. Oh. I don't know what it is about today, but it's really suctioning. 
Okay, I'm not gonna lie, it kind of hurts. I just got off my period. My boobs are sensitive. I'm sure that your boobs would be even more sensitive when you're breastfeeding though. On a scale from one to 10, how much does it hurt? I was just gonna ask that. <laughs> it shouldn't. It <laughs> should not hurt. Okay, but really. No, nope. really. Nope. There is no amount of pain that you should endure. I talked to Lindsay and Lindsay's laughing her baby on a real boob. I was just doing the motions. What do I do? Keep her under here? Expose it? Today is a chaotic day for me. My apartment's a mess. So I'm gonna go over to Sissy's house, which she literally lives down the street, and she's probably gonna provide me with coffee and peace. So I went to the cafe with Sissy, but then I had to breastfeed in public. It was really nerve wracking, but it, it was fine. I'm sure if it was a real baby, I would feel more like this is my place and I can take up this space. Hello. This is my friend that saved the day. Honestly, this is what's gonna actually happen when either of us have children. I'm not excited. <laughs> I've been recalling calling him the evil baby because look how evil he looks. <laughs> I had a devil looking child fake baby, right? If, <laughs> if I had a cute ass child that was my own, I still wouldn't love breastfeeding and that whole schedule that's around it, but at least I'd probably feel like I have more of a purpose to get through. This whole show so far, I felt like, oh, I could be a mom. And then this episode happened, I take it all back. <laughs> this is also not how I'm supposed to be holding him. I'm a horrible mother, oh my God. I also now have a meeting. I can't decide if I wanna go off camera or on camera with this baby in my boob. And he is, oh, right here with her hideous baby. Uh, <laughs> Jessica, look at my baby. It's not as cute as yours. My schedule is basically like an hour of just milking myself. Listen, I much prefer breastfeeding mm -hmm. than pumping. I'm sure. Like, I dreaded the pump. Yeah, just sitting that there. That noise, that humming noise. Being milked. Being milked. Yeah. A human milking machine. Mm -hmm. I thought I would have to stop and do this less. It's exhausting. We didn't have a real child. No. We're not recovering from postpartum. No. The hormones. The hormones. No. We didn't, all that stuff aside, this sucked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this really sucked. I never am tired at this time. I'm exhausted. The early evening into like the mm -hmm. actual evening. I was just sick of it. I was bored yet consumed. I still have five more times to feed this child yeah. throughout the night. How was your breastfeeding experience? Breastfeeding is awful. I hated it. For me, I had this issue called DMER, dysphoric milk ejection reflex. So basically the second my milk let down, when that would happen, I would get this awful feeling of dysphoria like this isn't my baby, this isn't my house, this isn't my life. Over time it faded away, but not completely. For me, it was always a fight to breastfeed. I wanna know a little bit about your mental health. Your body has just gone through a massive hormonal shift. Your pregnancy hormones are dropping, your breastfeeding hormones are increasing, so it can cause all these weird mood changes. Okay. There are some experiences where our hormones work differently than how we anticipate. So there is this thing called DMER, which is dyseuphoric milk ejection reflex. So that when you release your milk, instead of feeling this warm, cozy, happy, comforting feeling, you actually feel like creepy crawly, like get it off, anxiety. There are other people out there that don't feel excited to breast or chest feed or pump. And it's a lot of work. It's not this thing that just comes easily to everyone and it's magical for everyone. But it's worth it. My alarm just went off to breastfeed and I have a dilemma. I can't find the baby. <laughs> is it in the car? Where is my baby? I did not leave baby in the car. I left my baby by my shoes. A little punk. So it is currently our 11.15 feeding. I think I'm gonna sleep on the couch tonight. I don't wanna wake you because of work. I'm waking up at like three. I feel like this is how I have to sleep. I mean, she probably shouldn't be this close to the edge. Yeah, also that. She looks pretty much awake. <laughs> I'm so tired today, oh my. People always say, parenthood's a full-time job. I'm like, yeah, 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 of course it is. It it's is. a full-time job times. 10 million, yeah. because at least at a full-time job, you have a time you go home, mm -hmm. a time you relax, <laughs> and the full-time job doesn't wake you up at 3 a.m. crying, wanting to suck your boob. Well, it is 12 a.m. and it is time for me to feed. I thought that I only had a 3 a.m. and really I have a 3 a.m. and a 4.15 and a 6.30. I literally just got to sleep and now it's 2 a.m. The thing with breastfeeding is I'm trying not to fall asleep. 
You're not supposed to do that. It's like a special kind of pain when your sleep is being messed with. This one hurts. This one really hurts. Some form of torture, honestly. It really felt that way. Mm, this is my three o'clock alarm. I wonder how Lindsay's doing. If I had a newborn, I would need so much support. Our last minute. And then I'm going back to bed. We are done. Honestly, parents, unreal. I went into this thinking, oh, cute child. Like, mm -hmm. I'm kind of excited to be a mom. And then this video happened. Yeah. And I take everything I ever felt back. <laughs> We didn't even have a real child, that we didn't even have real bodily things happening to us. And yep. this schedule really messed me up. The Affordable Care Act, so the, that was signed in 2010, says that lactation services need to be covered by insurance <gasps> at 100%. Oh, that's great. As preventative medicine. About 75% of my clients get my consultations full free. Wow. So you can do a prenatal breastfeeding class for free. You can see me for free to be able to then get this, these things on track. I would need me, someone to help me, yeah. someone to help them help me. Yeah. Like I would need a whole team if I was doing this. Right. Oops, man. <laughs> Magical and horrific. Yes. <laughs>